Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today it is that time of the month. Again, I'm very late. I can only apologise. Um, I've been a very, very busy little bee lately. Um, and we've been a bit here, there and everywhere at the weekends when I normally film. So I've only just managed to sit down and film this. But today we're going to do the September budget box from P. Louise. No, this is not September, this is August budget box. It is now September. Yes, this is August budget box. I'm fully aware of the fact that, you know, September's is going to be here soon. But I didn't want to miss one of my budget box battle videos, so we're going to get into it today. This is a good one. Um, I said in my last budget box that I was a little bit concerned about this one. We knew we were getting the lip liners, we knew we were getting a lip palette, and then you get one of these. Now there was two skincare versions, two makeup versions. I said I really wanted a makeup version. I've just had a load of new skincare through Yes Style from Mixum. I didn't want more skincare, um, and I'm very pleased to say I did get a makeup one. But that is the most exciting, so we're gonna go through the other bits first. Okay, first off, the play your cards right, Queen of Hearts. I mean, just look at this packaging. Also, side note, getting my nails done today. Very excited because I've not had a nails on for like a month and a half because my nail girl had an operation. Um, and have I put off filming all of my Vlogtober videos until I get my nails done? Yes, I have. So, you know, the next couple of weeks are going to be a bit pre-filming heavy. Right, let's get into this. Oh. Okay, so this is the play cards, right? I think it's just the Queen of Hearts. I think that's the shade. It's a little, like, tin package. And this is a little lip palette. I know I said I was going to try the lip palette from the budget box we got a couple of months ago. But I haven't. Um, whereas this feels mildly more travel friendly. Um, it's a bit sort of tougher. It's got like a closure. So I feel like this is going to travel better. You could also, I feel like this looks like a cream bronzer palette. I'm not going to lie. So we've got 12 shades of nudia. Some really, really deep chocolatey tones, which I love the look of. This one looks amazing for autumn. Um, and then six kind of lighter nudes. I really like this. It's got a really good variation. Like I said, do I use a lip palette? Mm, but it's a nice pack of lip products. Now, we knew we were also getting a lip liner set. I thought they were going to match with the lip palette. But I got the red lip liner set and the nude palette. So, to be fair, I've got a thousand P. Louise lip liners and most of them are nude. So I was really glad to get the red set. Um, this is the Get That Bag, Take Me Away Lip Pencil Set. Um, this packaging is just the absolute cutest. And it's got like Velcro on it. So the bag like opens up. Super cute. Love it as always. And in here we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lip liners. Um, so value for money in this box is right there. Um, these are all varying shades of reds. Like I said, I do already have the like so many of the nude pencils that I've accumulated over the years and in sets and in advent calendars. Um, so I'm quite excited to get the red bundle. There's some super, super dark ones. This one is Lights Down Low, which looks like a very, very dark, deep red. I feel like for me, this is perfect because it's, we're coming into autumn, winter. The berry lips are coming back. There is one kind of pinky shade in here, which looks like that. And then the rest are all a variation of red. So I'm excited that I love the um, lip liner formula from P. Louise. I don't actually, I can't actually remember what they're called. Um, but I love 
I love this lip liner formula. Some of my most used lip liners are in this formula, so I'm excited. Right, the thing I'm definitely most excited about is this. This is the After Dark Dusk Diva Do Not Disturb Living for the Night Makeup Set. It's in a cute little hangy basket thing. Love it. I'm going to open it at the bottom because I might have already had a little peek just to make sure um, and see if it was a makeup one or not. Um, so, in here we have... Mm, so excited. Two more shades. Oh, hello. Wow, focus there. Um, two more shades of the Glisten to Your Heart Glitter Liners. This set is in the shades Dusk Diva and it has Sparkle Bright and the heart is always right in it. Now, if you saw, was it last month's box that we got the pink ones in? I lost my mind over those. So, when I saw more shades, I was like, yes, get in. Um, I'm really hoping, again, like I said in the pink one, that they do bring out some colourful versions of these. But we've got, oh, actually, those names I gave you before were not correct. This is Golden Gala, which is a very bright gold. And then Night Fever, which is like a deep brown sparkly. This for autumn winter, Mwah. cannot wait to try that with Berry Lip. Mmm. And then we have a pair of lashes. These are the after hours lashes. Now, again, in my last video, I was saying how much I loved P. Louise lashes. That is still true, but those lashes, the three pack that came in last month's budget box, no. Um, I wore one pair once and they broke. And then the other two pairs broke while I was actually peeling them off the, the little plastic insert thing. So not happy about that with those ones. I am intrigued to see if these ones are back to the kind of the old style that I'm used to. I don't know whether it's because the other ones were brown. I'm not sure whether they're made of something different. I don't know. But anyway, we've got those. And then we have the Living for the Night, Loving Every Moment eye palette. This is the same setup as the Smoky palette we got a couple of months ago. And this is just a very pretty basic brown palette for me not wearing a lot of neutrals this is the kind of brown palette i want in my life um very kind of minimal small but you can get a couple of looks out of it we are going to do a look with this today i have already got my eyes primed with the smashbox white primer that's in my project pan um, and we're just going to jump in because i feel like i've rambled for quite a while we're going to start with this shade here which is called dusk dreamer and what look am i going to do today okay i'm going to get my nails done but then um we are going from my nails straight down to birmingham to see some of my uni friends and i'm very 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 excited but i'm not actually sure what we're going to get up to this evening um so i may potentially take all this makeup off and put it all back on again um, time will only tell. So I'm just going in the crease with that Dusk Dreamer shade. Really, really nice warm transition shade. I feel like this palette is going to be so good for autumn because it's a little bit warm but still very deep. And to be fair, I feel like with party season very quickly approaching, um, I feel like this would work really nicely for that as well. So we're just going to buff this Dusk Dreamer shade into the crease. I think we might do a halo eye. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate the liners yet, um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So I want to go quite high up with this if we're doing a halo eye. This is just a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH36. I don't know whether you can get this brush anymore in particular, but just a fluffy brand and brush. So we're just going to take that. I'm taking it right up to the like socket line. Okay, just so everything's going to nicely blend into there. We're going to go in with a little brush. This is one from Morphe and Nyafina. 
This is a 13, it's just a little pencil brush. Again, any little pencil brush will do. And we're gonna go in to Stay Up Late, I think, which is this middle shade here. I'm just gonna use this on my outer. Wow, that is deep. Okay. Not that I expected anything less from P. Louise, to be honest. Do you feel like we've had a lot of neutral palettes this past couple of months, though? I would quite like something a bit colourful. I'm hoping maybe there's like a Halloween release. Um, I would definitely, definitely be interested in that. Um, and I am now completely on a no buy because me and Sam have been looking at houses. Um, I did buy the Cosmic Brushes Evergreen palette, which I thought was going to be here by now, but no such luck. Um, and that is going to be the last thing I buy for a while apart from still getting my budget box so it kind of makes me more excited because it's going to be the only kind of new makeup I get to play with in a month um so we're just packing this on I've just realized I've not rated this box so if you didn't want to watch the um actual putting on the makeup sorry about that um I think I'm gonna give this one I feel like this is a strong box I'm gonna give it a 7.8 although like this box is very high value I feel like it's probably one of the highest values we've had what since I started this series um I don't necessarily like it when we get a you could get makeup or you could get skincare from my point of view, um, I like, I loved the skincare box that we got. I thought that was great. But also, I think sometimes getting skincare is kind of like, oh, because you just want something new to kind of play with. I think if you're big into your skincare, then great. But the likelihood is if you're big into your skincare, you probably aren't as interested in P. Louise skincare. Um... So yeah, I don't love the fact it was one of those boxes. I'm lucky I got what I wanted in mine. Um, but I think on the whole, I feel like kind of maybe she could perhaps have like a, a choice. I don't know, like again with the egg one, um, obviously it was like, I wish we could have selected like light, medium or deep. Um, I wish with this one that we could have perhaps said yes skincare, yes makeup. Um, but then I suppose it doesn't make it a mystery. So swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. But for, on the whole, I think this is a great box. These eyeshadows are gorgeous. They're blending so nicely. I love this brown. It's so like warm and chocolatey it's absolutely gorgeous okay i'm just gonna take a slightly smaller blending brush this is an m6 from by jungle and we're gonna go back into that dust dreamer i'm just gonna make sure this inner corner is really nicely blended And then we are just going to go around the outside of the crease as well. I feel like Halo Eyes is such a trust the process moment. Right, with the outer, I'm going to go in with Midnight Mingle, which is the darkest. This is like an almost black brown. I'm going to put this directly into the crease. Yeah, this is like so close to black. So if you're looking for a good black brown shadow, I feel like this would very much hit the spot. But we're just gonna put that in the crease. And then again, we're gonna take that by jungle brush, a bit more of the light shade, and we're just gonna buff that in. So it is nice and blended. I do not know how these liners are going to show up. Are we going to use them anyway? Because I absolutely love this formula. Mm, yes. Obviously. Right. Okay. I think we're going to go for the gold. So we're going to go for under the stars. It's quite a lot of kick up from that dusk dreamer shade. 
I'm just going to go in with my finger because it's my last chance. <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. I've got no extra primer on. My eyeshadow primer is set. Uh, that is stunning. Ooh. That's the thing with P. Louise, like, they might not do, like, the most special of shades, but their metallics are so beautiful and glittery. I know some people, like, are not interested in shimmery shades unless they're, like, duochromes or multichromes. Um, but P. Louise just says shimmer so well. I can't help but love them. Right, okay, I've got nothing to wipe my finger on. I've located a cotton pad. Let's get that on the wine pad so I don't get it all over me. Because who doesn't want to film in a white t shirt and like grey joggers? She's a silly goose. Right, we're going to do the under eye because I've realised I can do that straight away because I'm not waiting to do my face. Um, we're going to go in with that big fluffy brush and Dusk Dreamer again. And we're going to poke that under. It feels so weird doing my eyeshadow when I've already got the face makeup on. Because I just never ever do it this way. So we're just taking that Dusk Dreamer shade and then we're going to make sure they're coming round into the upper eyeshadow. And then we're going to take the Bad Jungle brush again. We're going to go in with Stay Up Late, which is the first dark shade we use for that very warm chocolatey brown. And we're just going to pop that all over the lower lash line making sure I'm really pressing that in Ooh, color intensity and then we're going to go back in with the fluffy brush no extra product I'm just going to blend that out just to make sure it's all neat and cohesive. Right, okay. I kind of want to... We're going to take the gold liner, the golden gala, and I'm essentially going to match this up to my upper... I'm just going to pop like a pop of gold under my lashes. So I'm literally going, I'm like taking the very fine brush tip and like pushing it under my lower lashes. I'm just giving it a bit of sparkle just so it ties in. And then I'm going to try and use this one as a liner. This is Night Fever. I just don't know whether it's going to show up over the dark brown but we're going to give it a go anyway so we're just going to do I think we're going to do a wing I feel like it's been ages since I've done a wing okay doesn't 100% show up Still looks cute, so it's fine. Hmm. Okay, so that's the wing. Like I said, doesn't show up the best. I think it actually might show up better on the dark brown than it does on the gold.
these liners are just so beautiful. There's something about P. Louise liquid liners that just, they, they're just so easy to use. And I don't really understand why, like, there's nothing special about the brush tip. But they're just so easy to use. Excuse me, Mr. Bed. I'm trying to film here. Okay. I feel like you can't really see that. Right, we're not going to do lashes today because, like I said, I don't know what we're doing later. I might just take this makeup um, off later on. So, we're not doing lashes. I will report back on how I find the lashes and if they do the same thing as the brown ones did. Um, but I'm hoping they don't because I really did used to love P. Louise lashes. Um, we'll just pop in some tear-proof mascara on. So we are looking too cute for our mascara to run down our face. Let me tell you, looking down at yourself at this angle is not cute at all. Right, okay, that is mascara on. Right, we're going to do the lips. We're not going to do the lip palette today because I want to do a red. I've got my Glisten Watermelon Juicy Tint. So what I think we're going to do is do one of the really dark ones. This is the shade Snapshot. I'm just going to wipe anything that might be on my lips off. Okay, so we've kind of done like a bit of an ombre moment. We're just going to pop this on. If you haven't tried these juicy tints and you like, like a lip tint, you'll love these. And we're just going to make sure we've got plenty of the actual tint on the middle. And we're just going to look at this for a minute. This lip is like giving like just bitten vampire kind of kiss vibes and I love it. Um, so overall I'm really impressed with this box. Um, these guys have got to be my favourites again. I'm so excited to use these more. I'm so excited to use this dark one just on its own with a very bold red lip. I think it's going to be beautiful. Um, I do hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know if you got this budget box. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, hit the bell icon and YouTube will notify you next time I post. You've been fabulous, I've been Cole the Ball, and I'll see you next time. Bye!